Hi, I'm Bill McPhee, CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partner in mental wellness. Welcome to today's video blog. Today I have uh, a question uh, from Bill, and Bill uh, actually uh, comments on the uh, video blog that I've done yesterday. And Bill says, uh, thanks, what you say is 100% true in my case. I take meds and cannot do without them. As you say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Very true. However, there is another saying which I think is not 100% true, namely, one size fits all. Please explain clearly what are negative symptoms. Well, thanks, Bill, uh, for your question on uh, negative symptoms. And what I'll do is I'll talk a little bit about positive, both positive and negative symptoms, so you kind of give an, uh, have an idea of what that is. Basically, with schizophrenia, Positive symptoms are symptoms that are added to our personality that shouldn't be there. For example, if we hear voices, if we have hallucinations, if we have illusions, delusions, uh, because of the chemical imbalance, uh, we may be paranoid, uh, we may see uh, lights and color differently uh, in more detail, our sense of hearing is more acute, our sense of uh, smell is more acute. These things are because of the chemical imbalance, and they should not be there. With somebody who does not have schizophrenia, these things should not be there. So therefore, they are added to our personality and are called positive symptoms. With schizophrenia, you also have what's known as negative symptoms. And negative symptoms are basically things that are lacking from our personality that should be there. They're all so-called uh, deficit symptoms. So negative or deficit symptoms are the same thing. And again, it's things that are lacking from our personality that should be there. For example, we may lack motivation, we may lack energy, we have uh, a lack of joy or an emotional blandness, a blunt effect of bluntness, uh, we have a loss of joy, um, depression can set in. Uh, so those things are things that are lacking from our personality with schizophrenia, and so therefore they're called negative or deficit symptoms. So thanks, Bill, for your question. Hopefully I, I explained that okay. And uh, if you have a question for me on recovery, uh, just email me at bmcphee at magpiemags.com or go to our website, mentalwellnesstoday.com. Thank you for tuning in to this video blog, and we truly want to be your partner in mental wellness. Have a great day.